Hey everybody, there's been a lot of talk about foiling and the quality uh, of the foils, especially with the last Commander Legends set. And so I've got a couple of cards here I wanted to go through, show you what I do personally to try to get rid of the foil curving. Um, obviously what it is, you probably have seen it by now. I'll look at some of the old cards and see what they had done uh, differently. And why these, I think, are the most superior foiling of any kind. I mean, it's probably not even disputable. <clears throat> so let's let's take a look at it. Obviously, you've got a stack of cards here. Um, this is just every other, uh, you know, face up, face down. Uh, when you stack them up like this, a normal stack of magic cards should lay flat. Um, you know, here's a, here's just a stack. You know, this is what you should get. Um, obviously, when you do that <laughs> with the the foils from the Commander Legends, or even a lot of the other foil sets, uh, they don't they don't lay flat at all. Um, it's it's kind of like a spring. Um, this is why these are not legal in tournament play. If you're mixing foils with non foils, they you just can't you can't play with them. They'll they'll show right up. The introduction of the cold foiling, I, I guess, is what this is called. Uh, and I keep all my foils sleeved. I, I took these out of the sleeves to kind of prove a point, but um, the the cold foiling technique, uh, I mean, it's reminiscent, I think, of the old foiling, but it, it's not the same. It, it's cool. Um, it does take a little bit away from the quality and the detail of the art, in my opinion. Um, it's just it's just not I mean it's all right it's just not it doesn't jump off the page at me as one of the best uh, foiling techniques out there um, so here's here's an example of a foil a cold foil um, you can see this thing is pretty pretty flat there's not really um, any curling to it as compared to you know, here's a daybreak coronet from the from the master's set uh, it has a slight curling to it Let's see if we can get that uh, to focus in um, but this is an old card I've had it for a long time and um, these cards obviously just came just came fresh out of the the packs and are, are extremely curled. I've seen way worse than this. I, I foil them, I think, or um, sorry, sleeve them. I think most people have as well. So here here's here's an interesting card. So these are the the tokens from the Commander Legend set, and these don't even know which way to go, right? These these are curling both ways. Uh, they're 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 ridiculous, uh, and all my tokens are like this even even though they've been sleeved and so let's talk a little bit about why so we've talked about the uh or people have talked about the the foiling is actually it's a it's a plastic uh layer that is printed on and laid over the top of a regular magic card backing and there's some different tensile strengths to that so the the uh, fibers in the regular paper magic card are let's take this one out you know it's it's a it's a fibrous card, right? So it's got, if you look at it in a microscope or with a, a, a loop, you can see the fibers, you can see the different layers glued together. Uh, so there's a paper layer uh, glue and then another paper layer. And then they put a very thin foil veneer over the top, which is actually what has the printing. You've probably seen some where they peeled these and then it's just a white card underneath. So what's happening is this foil is pulling these cards in uh, as the fibers dry out and, and shrink and contract um, i've seen foiling this way and here let me show you a couple of, so these are uh, cut from a sheet or the spark sheet and you can see the the curling is is this way because this is the way it was rolled up in the tube uh, before i cut it um, so the foils here must also be rolled into a machine uh, that way and, and it starts the memory of the card that way and so as this dries out where its humidity sets in this card pulls that direction so i'm going to show you a, a, a trick that i use to to reverse that this has been sitting in here for a few minutes uh, as we're talking um but you can you can reverse this so a lot of people take the the card and they bend it a little bit this way um, it kind of helps straighten it out you you will get a um, let's see if we can focus in here a little bit. There we go. Um, we'll do it that way. You will get a not perfect straightening, so it kind of does a, like a little wave thing when you do it this way. But um, th 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 this card is, like I said, it doesn't even know which way to go. It's it, This thing is ridiculous. 
All right, so let's take a look at one of the methods I use. Oh, here, actually, let's take a look at the, the old foils. So here we have a standstill. Um, it is very flat. This thing fits into a deck very nicely. And if you'll notice, the only thing that's foiled is the outer rim. The black area is foiled, is, although it's because it's so dark, it's hard to see. But the text box and the person are not, or the picture rather, uh, the art, are not foiled. But this thing, absolutely, I mean, the colors on these things are just out of this world. And I really think they should go back to this foiling technique. Not only does it keep um, its flatness, its quality, but man, do these things just look, look phenomenal. So... Uh, you can't really you can't really beat these in my opinion uh, some of the best cards and that's why like the onslaught uh, rares the onslaught fetch lands are so expensive i mean they, not only are they just hard to get in rare but man do they look fantastic all right so now we've covered that let's take a look at how do we fix this issue um, i my go-to is compression and or reverse curving so I just have my, uh, you know, zombie dice uh, thing here. You could use PVC. You could use anything. Find a, a nice radius that you feel fits uh, the type of curve that you've got. And I just use electrical tape, or um, what was this, painter's tape. And I have a sleeve kind of taped in here that I slide the card into. And I'll reuse this. I've thought about getting a little fancier with having, uh, a, a, you know, a piece of PVC cut in half that folds over the top of another piece of PVC, but whatever, this this works for me. Um, so here we go. We've got a, a Vampiric Tutor that was highly curved. I'm going to pull that out of here. So it's just a sleeve that's taped in here, and then I let that sit for a day. And let me just show you. This, this card is darn near flat at this point. Uh, if I leave it out here, it may get some memory back to it. Uh, but what you're doing is you're kind of rehydrating, restretching out the the paper side of the card um, so that it really will lay flat. And this one is is for the most part uh, a very flat card as compared to some of the other cards um, that you'll have seen. The other thing that I do, and, and here here here's a stack of cold foils. You can see that these are super flat. So that cold foiling technique does work. It's very reminiscent of the old foiling technique. Uh, just slightly different. The other thing I do is I will compress my uh, my decks, especially the foil ones. So this is an Aaron Kane deck box, um, and it is in there. I mean, you can't, <laughs> you can hardly get this thing out. So you do have to be careful when you're putting decks away like this. You can bend cards. Um, you do want to be careful. Um, my commanders are right here. They're the old foil ones. I have not done the reverse curve on these. They have just been compressed. Uh, it doesn't work as well just compressing them. I think putting them in the reverse curve for a couple of hours would probably do a lot of good here. Uh, but, you know, you can see I, this deck isn't coming out. So I really have to get this thing out. There, it's coming. So we'll pull that out nice and tight. And I put enough tokens in there to do that. Um, and this deck will stand up on its own for, for quite a while. So it's got a good compression to it the deck is nice and flat all of the cards are nice and flat in it uh, it's got a lot of foils in there so here we've got Tana and Timna that's my commander for this particular deck um, all my tokens are super flat and then we'll just go through a couple a um, couple of the old foils that I have in here um, growing rights some marsh flats some some expeditions and such so long story short the let's take a look at a couple of the Expos and some of the choice choice cards here. So we got doubling. Just go through. Here's an old. Just want to get a couple different ones from a different. Uh, there's a double masters. Sorry, as I. Oh, here we go. An aura shards. That's an old school art. It's a neat one. Anyway, you get the idea. Well, here's a commander. Let's let's do that one. That one's that one was not reverse curled, so or or put in my reverse curling process, so uh, it will probably have a slight curve to it, uh, even though it's been in the compression thing for a while. Okay, let's put these aside. Let's take a look at uh, Saskia. She's going to be the one I think that's going to have the most curl to her, and yes, she does. Um, she's got a bit of a curl. It, it's hard to see; but it's not too much, but there is one there. Uh, a reverse curl would really do some good on this. 
Um, or a shards, no need to look at that one. That thing's going to be flat as can be. None of these cards have had the reverse curling to them, but they're flat because they've been compressed. Some, some cards don't like just the flat compression, and they prefer the uh, reverse curling as well as the compression. Um, if I left these out for days, they would not change. They would not go back to their, their original curled uh, form. The um, high humidity, perhaps, perhaps they would. Um, but these are all super flat and, and nice to play with, um, and you can't you can't see anything. So I think these are going to be a little bit more legal uh, to play with. Um, if you did some sort of like a tournament, I'm just a casual player, so don't need to worry about any of that. Set these aside. Let's take a look at uh, uh so we've got where is that? Our demonic tutor is here. It's it's still flat. Uh, this is another card here. Let's take a look at my my Urza. I think it's right up front yeah so so a mana drain um this one was not reverse curled for very long maybe five minutes um so this one would could stand for a little bit more but it's pretty flat uh, all things considered and gosh the it's hard to get on camera i apologize so if you look at this compared to some of the other you know new ones here's a here's a preordain you can you can see here, i'll just hold it up there the difference in flatness um, so only five you know maybe maybe five ten minutes it was just an example I showed somebody uh, I left this in the uh, reverse curl machine <laughs> that's a very complicated technical machine uh, and you can see the difference that it makes um, and having a tight deck box that fits your deck tightly this one does not uh, this was printed by a friend of mine so really cool deck box it comes with a, a printed urza it's hard to see but that's you can actually read it if you really tried um and this magnetically just clips on here so anyhow this this does not keep it nice and tight there's still some room in here i could put uh some tokens or things in there but i find that the uh, these deck boxes really do allow you to compress. They've got a lot of rigidity to them. I've actually considered about making my own that has like a little handle here or a thumb knob where you could twist and it could actually push in and, and compress your deck uh, to keep it nice and flat. So now that we've got a big pile of mess here, uh, that's my process for straightening out the foils as they come uh, in the bent uh, configuration and, and taking them to a a less bent configuration so this one here uh, could use a little bit more uh, but it's pretty good compared to you know this preordain this thing is like a springboard um, it's pretty pretty ridiculous even the the mana drain is is nice and flat there's a little bit of flex to it not much same thing with the the uh, the vampire tutor but only a few minutes in that reverse curl really makes quite a difference um, so hopefully this helps you guys get your foils uncurled. Obviously, it would take forever to do a whole whole bunch of them. So probably just doing them for the ones that you're going to play with uh, so that people don't be like, oh, you're cheating. I can see that foil card sticking out a mile, you know, from your deck. So, all right, guys, have a great one. Take care. We'll talk to you guys later.